Hi, everyone, and welcome to TSPN's News. I'm Tom Slavik. Let's take a look at our stories for today. On Tuesday, October 16, 2012, at approximately 2140 hours, the Amador County Sheriff's Office received a 911 emergency call from North Shore Lake Comanche. The caller, a 38-year-old male from Concord, reported that he was camping with a 47-year-old male friend from Concord, and the caller reported that the 47-year-old male had been drinking and at approximately 2045 hours decided to swim across Camper's Cove. The caller stated he heard some initial splashing and had not heard from his friend since. The caller said he delayed reporting his friend missing in the event that his friend swam to the other side of the cove and was walking back. Amador County Sheriff's deputies, the American Legion Ambulance personnel, firefighters from Jackson Valley, and I own city fire departments and East Bay Municipal Utilities District Rangers all responded. Based on the initial interview and the investigation, a search of the shoreline was conducted and Amador County Sheriff's Marine Unit was launched and a CHP helicopter was requested. A t-shirt was located on the shoreline adjacent to the campground based upon the totality of the circumstances, including having no point the swimmer was last seen, the time delay in reporting, water temperature and darkness, Amador County Sheriff's divers were notified and scheduled to begin the search and recovery operations at first light. And upon arrival of the CHP helicopter equipped with lighting and thermal imaging equipment, a search of the Campers Cove was conducted and the air unit was successful in locating a partially submerged body of the swimmer approximately 500 feet off the shoreline and approximately 700 feet south of where the teacher was located. The Amador County Sheriff's Marine Unit recovered the decedent Amador County Sheriff's detectives positively identified the decedent as Preston Troy Forsett, 47, of Concord. On Wednesday, October 17, 2012, the Amador County Sheriff's Coroner's Office scheduled an autopsy of the decedent, and the autopsy revealed the cause of death was drowning. Well, following the recent rainy weather, the Bureau of Land Management's Mother Load Field Office has lifted emergency fire restrictions on all BLM-managed public lands within its boundaries, effective today. And this includes BLM-managed public lands in Nevada, Yuba, Placer, El Dorado, Amador, Sacramento, Calaveras, Tuolumne, Stanislaus, Sutter, and Mariposa counties. That's a total of about 230,000 acres. There's no longer a need for emergency restrictions, according to Jerry Matsunita. BLM fire management officer. However, some requirements such as campfire permits remain in place and campfire permits and additional information is available at the BLM Mother Load Field Office. That's a 5152 Hillside Circle, El Dorado Hills. As always, we're asking the public to be careful with fire on public lands even though the danger has decreased, he said. For additional information, contact BLM's Folsom Field Office at 916-941-3101. And the Board of Directors of the Amador Water Agency at their regular meeting October 25th at 9 a.m. will be discussing for possible action, accounting adjustments to accept cash balances and direction regarding accounting procedures. Also up for possible action and discussion on the, agents, on the, on the agenda will be the topic of accounting adjustments regarding the direction to accept cash balances and direction regarding accounting procedures. The meeting will be held at the Amador Water NC Boardroom at 12800 Ridge Road, Sutter Creek. And the Amador County Public Flu Clinics have been announced that their first clinic will be held at the Health and Human Services Building located at 10877 Conductor Boulevard in Sutter Creek. The clinic will be held from 2 to 3.30 p.m. Thursday, November 1st. And the second clinic will be Wednesday, November 28th. The price is $15 per shot. And Medicare billing for the flu shots will be available, so bring your Medicare card if you have one. And for information, call 223-6407. Residential landscape debris burn permits, that's LE62As, are still required until the end of the fire season for burning and yard waste. And burn permits can be obtained for free at most of your local fire stations. Also know that the Amador El Dorado unit of CAL FIRE will determine burn day, no burn day status on a day-to-day -day basis. So please make sure you call the burn line information line immediately prior to burning in Amador County. And the number to call is 223-6246. Well, I'm not. Uh, 
Eleanor, oh, that's right. Sorry, the slide does aren't working, so we're not going to take a look at our weather at this time. We're going to take a break. When I come back, we'll be with uh, Kathleen Harmon, director of the Amador Foundation, Amador Community Foundation. And uh, so stay with us right here. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN.